Leo Varadkar has stoked simmering tensions with the UK by claiming a united Ireland can become a reality within his lifetime, in a move which is unlikely to endear Ireland's former Taoiseach to recently elected DUP leader Edwin Poots. Mr Varadkar used his online address to outline his nationalist vision. And he also took to opportunity to take a swipe at Sinn Féin, led by Mary Lou Macdonald, whom he accused of being anti-British and Eurocritical. Fine Gael leader Mr Varadkar, who made way for Fianna Fáil leader Michael Martin as Ireland's leader last year as part of the coalition deal struck between the two parties, was speaking at the opening of his party's annual Ardbis, or conference. During his speech, Mr Varadkar claimed that tectonic plates were shifting in Northern Ireland. He declared, the assembly elections and the census tell us that in Northern Ireland there is no majority anymore, there are three minorities, one that defines itself as British and Unionist, another as Irish and Nationalist, and a third and growing middle ground, many born since the Good Friday Agreement, who refuse to be defined in this way. They see themselves as both Irish and British or perhaps simply Northern Irish. He added, I believe in the unification of our island and I believe it can happen in my lifetime. We should be proud to say that unification is something we aspire to. It should be part of our mission as a party to work towards it. Mr. Varadkar therefore emphasized the importance of ensuring the Good Friday Agreement was working effectively, and to increase our engagement with people and communities in the north. It means the unification of the people of our island as well as territory of Ireland and it is a legitimate political aspiration. It is in our constitution and is provided for in the Good Friday Agreement should a majority of people in the North and South vote for it. In a remark likely aimed at Mr Poots and his party, which recently jettisoned former First Minister Arlene Foster as its leader, Mr Varadkar said, the views of unionists must be acknowledged, understood and respected but no one group can have a veto on Ireland's future.